Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing with Norby. Just got out here to another Montana lake. James taking me out. He's up here on the rock. We we're doing some fly fishing as well as casting with our spinning rods, doing some MEPS fishing. We're going to try to catch a few trout here at this lake. Um, I'm not sure what else is in here. Got any salmon or anything? Brookies and cutthroat. Brookies and cutthroat trout. So we're going to try to catch a few. He was telling me when the snow melts, the water goes above these rocks and uh, uh, drops about 10 to 20 feet um, during the summer, which is pretty crazy. First time fishing something like this, let's see if we can catch. What's up, Winston? What's up, boy? Thanks, buddy. <laughs> Said any time. Catch much on that? I've got a few on this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of looks like a uh, baby brook trout. Because until they get big, they are mostly just silver. Huh. Oh, hooked up. All right. Winston, say here. That'll work. Winston. Uh oh. Winston. He come says, here. I want the trout. Winston. He's all right. <laughs> what do we got here? No. Winston. Oh. Winston. <laughs> oh, no, get it, get it, get it. Got him. It's a rainbow. Is it a rainbow? Maybe yeah. Winston says he's going to have here. him a lick. Come here. Would you look at that? Nice Wednesday. little rainbow trout. He says, I'll take a lick. <laughs> you can have a scout lick. That's all you get. <laughs> little 13 incher. Not too shabby. Ate the MEPS right out here next to these big boulders in this lake. That MEPS is one of the best baits for lakes and rivers. It's an awesome bait. Winston thinks so too. See you, buddy. There he goes. He gone. He gone. He gone. He's still looking for him. <laughs> Where'd he go, bud? Get it. Go get him. Just hooked up. There we go. Smoked it. Like he put some he put some uh, slack in my line when he hit it. Wonder what we got here. Yeah. Winston, no. No. <laughs> Alright. Is that a rainbow? That's another rainbow, isn't it? That's got a yellow patch it's, on it. Uh, I think it's a rainbow. I don't, I think that's a brookie. That's yeah, a brookie? I think that's a big brookie. All right, guys, just hooked up with a brook trout, I think. Um, it's got a ton of spots on it, pretty awesome. Crushed the MEPS, he knocked so much slack in my line that uh, I thought I hit a rock because the blades just quit <laughs> spinning. Knocked about two foot of slack in my line. <laughs> Winston wants a bite. Yeah, nice little, uh, about a 15 inch brook trout, that is awesome. Sweet. Sorry. All right, that's a brook trout? A little darker I, face? I think so, yeah. Yeah, sweet. Look at all the, the spots on it. And, yeah, because brookies are like, they're silver and then they get spots and okay. a little bit of coloration when they get bigger, but okay. there's also some like seasonal change. Yeah. That you can experience. Yeah, it doesn't inside. quite look like a rainbow to me. It's got yeah. a little darker face, silver, ton of spots, that's sweet. What do you think, Winston? You think it's a brook trout? We're gonna go with the brook trout. Get the release on him. Say bye, Winston. Say bye. Sweet. He's like, where'd he go? Nice, that's two. Oh, two on the MEPS. Okay. I guess it could have been a cut bow where it's a, uh, a cutthroat rainbow mix. Cutthroat rainbow mix, I don't know. But they usually have a little, a little color. Huh. On their right under the yeah. gill plate, so yeah, his face was a little uh, dark. I think he had some some uh, orangish on his gill. Who knows, guys? If you know what kind of trout that was, um, it looked like a rainbow mixed with something. Um, pretty sweet, nice little 15-inch trout or so. We're gonna try to get another one, Winston. but he smoked that. Winston loves trout. There's one. Oh, he smoked it. Yes. Knock slack in my line, man. No, Winston. Hey, Winston, Winston get out of the way. Winston, no. Oh, he's going to get hooked. <laughs> Winston. Oh, there we go. That one's a rainbow. Another bow? Yeah. yeah, see the pink on his gill? The last one didn't have the pink on the gill. 
It's a nice little 13 inch rainbow. Oh, about got away. Yeah, this cove is loaded up with them. There we go. All right, nice little trout. That tail fin back here doesn't look like it's fully developed. Um, pretty cool though. We're gonna get a release on him. I think they're hanging out in this shallower cove with the warm front that came through here in Montana. Uh, it's just been really warm, 60, 65 degrees once the sun comes up midday and we're doing a little afternoon fishing. This rainbow smoked it. See ya buddy, he's feisty. They're feisty in this lake. Look at him, he went over there right next to you. Sweet. All right, let's get a couple more. Oh, I got all muddy. Shouldn't have worn my nice shoes. Should have worn my muck boots. Kind of crazy how hard they're hitting it. They're wanting to eat, that's for sure. Normally the windy side's better too. Like I said, I'm casting it out there, letting it sink all the way to the bottom, popping it up and reeling it right above the bottom um, the whole way back. And, that's where they've been eating it. <laughs> oh man, I got crushed. He missed it. Wow. I got hit so hard right there. Like that was a hard hit compared to the last two. That was a bigger fish. As soon as I popped it up off the bottom and started reeling it, that's when that one smoked it. Okay guys, we're gonna walk over to this fly fisherman. I've seen him catch about five fish. We're gonna see what he's using. Might try casting on the point he's at. Looks rocky, I bet there's a bunch of fish feeding there. Catching them? Yeah? Really? What are you using? Dragonfly nymph? Just a tiny little nymph? Oh, about an inch. Yeah. Are they really? Do you fish here a lot? Yeah. They have a two-year life cycle, so they're constantly in here. So they, oh wow! They eat them all the time. Are you fishing top water? No. Okay, that that's your indicator. Nice. I've caught three on the MIPS. Is that is you over here? Yeah. Yeah, I saw. I saw you yeah, there. and I had a real big hit, and I missed him. But the biggest one is probably about 15-inch rainbow. Yeah, there's some nice ones in here. What was the big one you missed? I'm not sure how big it was, but it felt nice. Yeah. It felt like it's between three and five pounds. Wow! Really. Okay. I caught, um, the, about six years ago they drained this completely dry. Yeah. And they restocked it, but before they did that, I, I had, uh, I caught eight pound fish out of here. Really? And I've seen guys catch ten pound fish. Oh my gosh. I don't know if they're still in here. There's still some nice ones in here. Wow. But I don't know if there's Those are huge. Any of the really big ones are wow. still in here. So. Yeah, I've never caught one over five. <clears throat> That's awesome. Yeah. You mind if I cast the MEPS a few yeah, times on this cool. point? Cool. All right. Figured out. I'm from Missouri. This is my first time here. First time to Montana. We I, I had a work conference in uh, Bozeman, and my buddy lives in Butte, so figured we'd come try out a little fishing. You mind if I check out the dragonfly nymph? I've never seen one. Yeah, I mean, they tear it up pretty good. Oh, wow. Just a black one? It's, it's actually like a pheasant. Pheasant? Uh, pheasant. Okay, sure. It's wrapped so it looks dark. Okay. A lot of the wings gone because they just tear, these guys got sharp teeth. So. Sure, sure. Neat. That's, oh, gonna yeah. Try to keep another one. That's I don't a good rainbow. That's a cutthroat there. That's a cutthroat. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. caught a cutthroat then. See how the uh, spots yeah. that, that are more towards the tail? Yeah. And then he's got like the little the red spot, the red yeah. slash on his throat. Okay. So that's a cutthroat. Got it. I think uh, I caught one rainbow and two cutthroat today then. Okay. I thought that was a rainbow. Okay. <laughs> they do look a lot alike. Yeah. And they will interbreed. Okay. So. Maybe it was a mixture. Because it's a little lighter silver than that. Um, yeah, the one I caught is about an inch shorter. That's a good one. Got one. Hooked up. 
little guy. What do we got? A little rainbow. Little rainbow. Not bad. Pretty little guy. That makes number four already for the lake, and I missed two. Oh, see ya. <laughs> well, we are going to call it a day. Winston, James, and I had a blast. Um, got about a 20 hour drive ahead of me. Uh, those last four trout were fun to end the trip with. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I think a couple of those I caught were cut bows. Um, let me know what you think. Also caught a couple of rainbows. Huge thanks to my buddy James for taking Cody and I fishing this week. We had a, a great time. Even when he wasn't with us, he suggested where to go and we caught fish there. Ended up catching my personal best trout in a secret spot he told me about. If you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. Five pounder is nuts on the fly rod smallest fly i've ever used hope you guys enjoyed please subscribe for more videos i'm going to be getting back to missouri doing a lot more bass crappie bluegill fishing ice fishing seasons coming up so get prepared for some of those videos we'll see you guys next time on fishing with norby